You know, I really like tea. What is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a guide on how to level up your Steam profile for free. So as many of you guys know, on Steam you have a little profile level here that uh, helps rank you against your friends profiles and stuff. As you can see I have friends with much higher profiles than me, I'm only at level 45. Um, and it also gives you access to more friend slots. <coughs> Excuse me. For example, right now I have 525 available friend slots, but if I got my level up high enough, that could potentially go all the way up to 2,000. It also gives you benefits like having these showcases to decorate your profile with, and tons of other cool stuff like that. So how do you level up your profile? Normally you would have to click trading cards, which you would then have to use to craft badges and then the badges would give you like 100 XP for each badge um, and then after getting so much experience you would go up to the next level. As you can see I'm almost at level 45, just 10 XP away. Well the thing is trading cards cost money. Games that give you trading cards cost money, right? But how could you do this for free? Well that is what I'm going to show you. So, back in the last Steam Summer Sale update, it'd be more around like May, June of this year, uh, they had a new feature called the Steam Point Shop, but this wasn't a temporary thing, this was something that they've decided to keep going all year round. And one of the basic features of this Point Shop is that you get points for spending money on Steam or creating community content like guides, reviews, stuff like that when people give you awards and you can just earn Steam points. And then you can spend them on all these different items. Emojis for games you like, uh, animated stickers, pro backgrounds for your profile like this swirly little thing here. Some pretty cool stuff. Oh, I kind of like this one. I'm not even going to lie. Actually, no, I take that back. It's too still. I'm getting off topic. The thing that you want to use for the purposes of this video is the point badge. Now, what this does is it costs 1,000 points for each level or tier or whatever you want to call it of this badge. And each level gives you 100 XP, just like crafting one badge would, because each of these are badges. But here's the cool part. This can go up to level 20. And again, it costs 1,000 XP, or I'm sorry, 1,000 Steam points to level this up. Dang nabbit kitty, quit knocking stuff off my desk. Sorry about that guys, got a little kitten. Anyway, so with every 1,000 points, you can go ahead and upgrade this and get another 100 XP. And if you get upgrade all the way to level 20, you get 2,000 XP in total, which is you know, a decent amount of levels, depending on how many levels you have already. But it's definitely going to help you get there, and you can do this totally for free. Now, the only thing is, you have to earn in total 20,000, uh, what's it called? Steam points, I guess. Yeah, Steam points to actually make this happen. Now, you can see I've already earned 10,000 that I've spent on the first 10 levels of this, and I already have another 17,000. So I can already go ahead and purchase the 20 level one. But how did I earn these? Well, what I did was I went on to the Steam store and I reviewed games that I owned. Now, I own a decent amount of games. I do walkthroughs on my channel here. So if you're new to the channel and you like gaming walkthroughs, consider subscribing because I've got some cool completionist theme stuff here. Uh, and if that doesn't interest you and you're just here for the guide, that's fine too. I just wanted to let you know that that's what I do. That's the bulk of my content, really. But anyway, so whenever I'm finished playing a game, I'll usually make a review video for it for my channel, and I'll write a review on Steam. I've done that for Saints Row, Agents of Mayhem, and recently I did one for the Henry Stickman collection, which was very, very popular. Like, if you go here... Hold up. Well, all right, this just pulls it up here. I was hoping I could pull it up on the actual Steam store page. Let me do it another way. All right, here we go. So as you can see, this is a very, dang nabbit, this doesn't pull up anything the way I want it to. Okay, that's close enough. This is a very popular review of Henry Stickman. Um, I did this like, I posted this on September the 20th, so it's been up there for about a month now. Right, 875 people found this review helpful, 49 people found this review funny. Now thankfully, I posted this review about a month after the game came out, so it was still pretty fresh and a lot of people were finding it and playing it. As you can see, I did the kind of a list format, and then at the end I wrote a big long section and then winked my video, which has gotten almost 600 views, so that's kind of nice uh, for a smaller channel. But look here, all these people 
have given me all these awards, which was really, really nice of them. And as you can see, I have 28 of the Golden Unicorn Awards, which gets 800 Steam points per, per award. You can do the math yourself to figure out how much points that is. Uh, you have 56 Extra Helpful Awards. It gives you 100 Steam points each. Not as much, but still it helps. And, and so on and so on. So I've gotten all these awards by writing this review. And, you know, this particular review blew up and got a ton of views, but... You know, even just a few views on a maybe a less popular review can still help. Like, for example, um, nobody really saw these DLC reviews. Okay, here's one for Agents of Mayhem. And this isn't even that popular of a game. People don't really, you know, even know what Agents of Mayhem is or really play it much. But as you can see, I got five awards for this. 100, 100, and then three more 100. So I got 500 Steam points just on this one review. Six, six people found it funny, two found it helpful. Or, or funny, no, 6-6 six, six found it helpful and 2 found it funny, excuse me. Um, and so on and so forth. So you guys get the general idea. And you don't have to write reviews. Let's say you don't want to write reviews. This got a couple of awards. Um, let's say you don't want to write reviews, right? You could go and write um, guides, right? Like let's say, let's say a big game that you like, for example. I know a lot of people in my audience like Team Fortress 2. So let's say, oh, there's an update for it. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, let's say that you want to maybe, like, say, write a guide for this. You want to write a guide for this called uh, a guide for every jump in existence. You just want to make a guide talking about, like, how to do certain jumps or how to play well as a character or whatever. And see, this guy made a guide, and look, he's gotten eight awards for this because some people have seen it. 52 people have rated it. So, yeah, you can do whatever you want to do for this, and you will get people to watch it and or look at it or read it or whatever and maybe somebody will be kind enough to give you an award and that's the thing when people give awards to others they also earn xp like for example um so like i've gotten 133 awards right so i've gotten the community contributor badge and i've gotten that's the thing when people give you awards that also gives you xp like you can see i've gotten 133 awards i have 1133 xp so that's pretty cool. And then community patron. Look, I've given people awards, right? And so I have gotten 10 XP for the two awards I gave to people. So see, when people give you awards, they get a little bit of XP as well. Not a lot, but a little bit. And so that helps as well. So it's kind of a give and take. Like if you get a lot of points built up and you don't have anything you want to spend it on, you can go around giving awards and get a little bit of XP back and then help other people. But you get the general idea. So what you want to do is you want to make some content for Steam, either a review, a guide, whatever, something that people are going to want to see and something that they're going to give you uh, awards for. And then you can go into the Steam store and get your batch. And I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now because I'm going to go ahead and jump over here and upgrade this all the way to level 20. There you go. Look at that, boys. So let's go ahead and view my profile. Oh, wow. I actually skipped right over level 46 and went to level 47. That is pretty sweet. And look at that. Look at that. I only need 10 more XP to reach level 48. So you can see just in that 1,000 XP that I got, that was about two. That's exactly two levels increased just from that one purchase. So that's pretty sweet. And see, I still have plenty of Steam points left. So... um. So yeah, I've, I've got like another 7,000 here. So I'll tell you guys what, what you can do, okay? I'm gonna, I wanna help out everybody in my community or everybody who watches this video. So if I have a few points here, why don't you guys make some content on Steam? A, a guide video, a review or whatever, and you start dropping them down in the comments below. Just say, hey Cass, I made this guide. Um, would, you, would you go read it, maybe upvote it, and maybe give me an award if you think it's you know good quality. And if you guys actually put like some hard work and some effort into this review, I'll give you an award and I can help kind of get you started and kind of help you get towards getting this badge for yourself. It'll help me out because I'll get some more XP um, for giving you awards and even more importantly, I'll be able to actually help you guys out and help you get started on this. So yeah, I just want to help out if I can and if that sounds like something you guys want to do, um, then yeah, go for it and leave your stuff down below. Maybe other people will look at it and uh, you guys can look at one another's stuff and help one another out and we'll just kind of get the train going help everybody get up great on their profile and again don't like just say something like this game was good i liked it and then expect me to give you the golden unicorn award that's that's not going to happen i'm sorry <laughs> but you get you get the idea right actually put some effort into something and i and probably a few other people will try to help you 
out by giving you some cool wars, help you get some points so you can get this badge for yourself. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the whole video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm looking over to make sure it's not going to be too long. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this guide useful. I said that already. Leave a like on the video if you did. Don't forget to drop your stuff in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see some more cool stuff. Until next time, I've been your host, Cast Gaming. And I will see you all at the top. I'm about to end this man's whole career. I, I, I